Hello Toy Collector fans, Universal Toy Collector here and welcome to the channel. Join me today as I show you a recent loft find, my recent pickups from Sandown Toy Fair and a couple of gifts that I've been kindly given. Okay then, so firstly, I'm gonna open the gift that was uh, sent to me through the mail, and this is from Adam Berry. And um, as you can see, he's wrapped it very well. So I've got a feeling this is gonna be a complete and utter nightmare to try and get into. But I do believe he has possibly done that on purpose, or maybe not. So uh, let's have a look and see how we get on with opening this. So Adam, once again, really appreciate you sending me this, mate. You didn't have to. And I take that back. That wasn't as difficult as I first thought it was going to be. So what do we have here? Look at this. So this is a DC Foco Mr. Freeze. Let's uh, just zoom in there. Look at that. Awesome stuff. Sorry about the glare. A resin figure so let me just come back out a bit there you go so yeah awesome stuff yeah i do like dc i do like batman and what we've got in the back you get clayface batman and scarecrow these are cool i've never seen these before so yeah look at that i think that's the uh the make foco so yeah that is pretty cool i do like that Adam, thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate that. You didn't have to send me that. Awesome stuff. Right, so there's that. I'll get to the other the other gift in a minute. Um, but firstly, before that, I want to show you what's been found in my parents' loft recently. So, two seconds. Okay then, so for the longest time, I've been saying that I regret not having any of my childhood toys in my collection. Well, now I can put that saying to bed because I now have these in my collection. These were seconds away from being thrown into the tip. My dad decided to look through the box first and then found these. If he hadn't looked, these would have been long gone. But yeah, so well played dad for, for actually looking first before you throw it into the tip. So what we have is an original Masters of the Universe Skeletor. We have Merman albeit he has a broken leg. We have many faces, missing a, an arm. We have Stratos, missing his uh, body gear, um, wings. And we have Triclops, where he's got his legs broken. But that's not an issue for me. What I'm gonna do with these is get them, um, clean them up because they are pretty dirty. That's, that's really filthy. Take these um, rubber bits out. I do have replacement rubbers. To, uh, to fix the legs and I will be looking at getting the accessories that are missing for these figures so I can complete them but I am so so happy that I now have some of my childhood toys in my collection I'm absolutely over the moon with this so um yeah so the weekend just gone um, I went to Sandown Toy Fair and my mission was to just look for pieces and accessories for these figures. I wasn't going to buy anything else. I was just going to buy the bits and bobs for the figures. And um, I got off to a good start. So I, I ended up getting this. This is the uh, the jetpack for Stratos. So I'm going to put him there. I didn't realise that there was a variant of Stratos. So because he's come with the red jetpack. He will come with the, the light blue wings. If this was light blue. He would have come with red wings. So that. That I never knew that, so yeah, so that's pretty cool. So I need um, some uh, some wings for him. I need the sword for Triclops. I need a left arm and uh, the gun for many faces. I need to fix the legs on Merman, get his body armor and his uh, accessories, his sword and so forth. And for Skeletor, I need his uh, Havoc staff and his sword. 
So I will be sourcing those at some point in the future. But I've got to tell you guys and girls, I am absolutely over the moon to have these now in my collection. Once they get cleaned up and restored, that is, I'm, I'm just blown away by that. Absolutely blown away. Really happy. So yeah, no more regretting not having any of my childhood toys. Anyhow, speaking of Sandown Toy Fair, let's crack on and show you the rest of the bits and bobs that I managed to pick up at the Toy Fair. Okay then, so last week I did a video called Figure Focus and the focus was on the character Princess Leia and all the figures that I have of her in my own personal Star Wars collection. And now I've just added to that collection with this figure here and this is the Power of the Force 2 Princess Leia in her Yavin Ceremony outfit. Now I'm really, really pleased I've, I've got this figure because that completes the set. I have her in her original release form which was on the Power of the Force 2 card. I have her in the TVC and I also have her in the six inch black series. So yeah, really, really pleased. And this was only a tenner. So you can't, you can't sniff at that, can you? So really, really pleased. I did see quite a few of these figures um, around Sandown Toy Fair. They were asking more money for 10 quid, but they weren't as in a good a condition as this figure. So on the card, you see you got the little princess layer there. You pull the tab down. That turns to Padme, push it back up, Princess Leia. The back of the card, Princess Leia and Padme, coming 1999, Star Wars Episode 1. So yeah, Princess Leia in a Yavin ceremony outfit on a Power of the Force 2 card back. And the card back is in pretty good condition. The bubble looks really nice and clean and the figure looks awesome. Absolute steal at 10 quid. Anyhow, let's move on to the next figure. So the next figure I picked up was this original O-Ring version Airborne from G.I. Joe. And I've got to say, I really do like this figure. He was always my favourite figure as a kid. I never had him personally, but when I went around a friend's house, he had him and I always picked him to do my missions with. So yeah, a really cool looking figure. Love the colours and I hope that they do him in the modern classified line. That would be awesome. He'd look great in 6 inch. So yeah. So he comes complete, he's got his backpack, his uh, his helmet and his rifle. But the only thing that I didn't notice at the time was that his uh, crotch piece is, is broken. So not over the moon about that. It's not a deal breaker. Still really glad to have him in my collection. Hopefully I will get a replacement um, waist piece because I've got Bob Oak chance of trying to get that fixed. I'm absolutely rubbish when it comes to customising or restoring certain parts to figures. So I'll have a look and see if I can find a uh, an in-piece, uh, crotch piece for, for this figure. I will, however, need to put a new O-ring in him. I can do that, that's not too difficult. So yeah, I'll be putting a new O-ring in, in him just to tighten his uh, legs up a little bit. But yeah, I, I do need to get another crotch piece for him. But like I said, really, really pleased. And that 15 pound, and that was discounted as well. So. Original price 20, the guy knocked five quid off. Can't grumble at that, really happy. I did, however, see a vintage Action Force Pelotoy carded Airborne. Asked the price on, on, on that, and it was well out of my price range, so I put him back on the, on the peg. Maybe one day, but yeah, he just looked absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, love this figure. Really pleased to have him in the collection. Right, enough of Airborne. Let's move on to the next figure. So the final figure that I purchased was this 40th anniversary Masters of the Universe New Eternia Beastman from the Masterverse line. And I've got to say, I am blown away by this figure. Just look at that. that I, I find him incredible. That is so awesome. The, the box, the artwork on the side, which I'll show in a minute, the way the figure's displayed, and just the look at the figure. I am so, so pleased that I've now got this in my collection. I had the opportunity to get him um, at some point at Sandown last year. I, I looked at him, thought about it, passed it by, got back home and kind of regretted that I didn't didn't end up getting him. Um, I saw him in game. He was um, um, at a reduced price. This was just like this year. Again, passed it by. So when I saw him at Sandown Toy Fair for 10 quid, I thought, no way. I'm not passing him up this time. And I'm so, so happy that I've got him now and, and brought him home with me. He will be staying in the box. I do have a 
open version of Beastman and he is from the Revelations line. So I'm happy with that, with him being open. But this guy, ah, oh, he just looks incredible. And the artwork that I was talking about is, is this side. Just absolutely fantastic. I do love the Masters of the Universe artwork on their boxes. Here he is on the back there, looking pretty cool. Rest of the figures in the in the wave. He just turned the box around. Beastman. And then you've got the 40th anniversary logo there. And it's from Mattel. So, yeah, absolutely incredible. Really, really pleased that I've got this figure. So, yeah, awesome stuff. Anyhow, I do have one more figure to show you. So, um... Let's get him up and have a look. Okay then, so here we have the DC Collectibles Justice League Gods and Monsters Superman. And this was kindly gifted to me by the legend that is BOE. Once again, BOE, thank you so much for your generosity. Totally blown away and totally unexpected. Um, yeah, loving the figure. Love the style of the figure. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, quality. I, I do like my DC and I do like these style of figures. So if you turn it around... You'll see the other figures in the wave. You have Batman and Wonder Woman. And no doubt at some point in the future, I will probably end up getting the Batman and Wonder Woman just to complete this line. So yeah, absolutely awesome stuff, BOE. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Right, what I'm going to do next is get the whole haul, stick it in the front there, and close the video out. Two seconds. Okie dokie then, so here is the haul in its entirety and I've got to say I'm really really pleased with what I'm seeing in front of me. I've got two awesome gifts, one from Adam Berry, Real Toy Dude, and one from BOE. So again, the pair of you, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate your generosity and yeah, awesome stuff. Thank you so so much. Then we have the Loft Finds. Now these were seconds away from being thrown in a tip. It's just the fact that my dad managed to look in the box before he threw it. And he found these. So these will need cleaning up, restoring, and they will need some accessories added to them. I've already started getting the accessories. So once they're done, cleaned up, restored, they will be put on the display. And then I will have childhood toys in my display, which is one thing that was a big regret that I've been saying about for the last few months. But now I don't have to say that. So yeah, really happy with that. Now I've got Airborne in my collection, G.I. Joe, O-Ring, complete, awesome stuff, really, really happy with that. Yes, he hasn't got his crotch piece, but that's okay, I can always get another part if I, if I need to, no big rush to do that. I will replace the O-Ring, but I'm just really, really pleased to have him in the display, and I might even sit him in the, uh, the Sky Striker, who knows. Then I've got another bargain here at 10 quid which is the um, Power of the Force 2 Princess Leia Yavin Ceremony. Glad I've got her because she completes the set now as far as I'm concerned with the TVZ version and the Black Series version. And probably the best bargain of all is this Beastman from the 40th anniversary Masters of the Universe New Eternia Wave. So yeah, so pleased I've got this in my collection. To be fair, I'm pleased I've got all of it in my collection. Now, not only did I see BOE at Sandown, I also uh, got to see VTR Dave from Vintage Toy Rush, um, Matt from Zero Hunter Toys, and Julian. So really, really happy to see those guys. It is always such a pleasure to meet people um, at these uh, toy fairs and, and bits and bobs because it just enhances the experience uh, for me personally. So yeah, and Matt, I've got to say, you are looking mighty fine, sir. Really proud with the with your weight loss you are looking really good mate so yeah congratulations on that mate well done um but yeah i think matt also managed to rub off some uh, bargain magic on me because 10 quid bargain 10 quid bargain and i got this at a reduced price for 15 15 quid so awesome stuff so thank you very much so myself and georgie we had a great day and it was just awesome meeting up with people and chatting with people Anyhow, that is it for this video. Just a quick video. Um, so yeah, all I've got left to say is if you are new to the channel, feel free to comment, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let you know of more content. And as always, there will be more content. Really do appreciate your support. Appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Take care, stay safe and see you in the next video. Bye for now.